Well, folks, well, back in my attic. Right, plan now, <coughs> Saturday the 12th, yes, 12th of February. Uh, just on my potatoes, as you saw, I hope. What I'm going to do now is start to transplant some of my Roscoff onions. There they are there, look. There's not actually many of them, but I'll do a few. Because I do need to start to get some space in the nursery. Now those will be transplanted into these square pots. Now, if I remember right, I get 15 of these into a seed tray. So I could do with two seed trays full of these. And then the stirring will see. And if I ain't got enough, I'll just sow a few more. They'll catch up. Right, so what I'll do, I ain't going to show you all on it. Get one of these. You can't actually even see. So just let me <laughs> move you just a minute, folks. Sorry. Right then, folks. I don't know if you can see proper. I do apologise. Let me move that tray a bit. There we go. I think you can see a bit better now. So all I do, get a pot, and I'm just going to use whatever compost I've got here, and that's it. So I will fill up as many as I can, and then I will get back to you and just show you how I transplant them. And it's really difficult. Yeah, right. Okay, catch you in a bit. Right, here we go then, folks. My tools of choice. Now, <laughs> I think everybody has got a set of these. I bought those and this little sieve. That was, they was in there somehow. And I think it cost a pound from, guess where, the pound shop. I must have had it for about 10 years now. I've got one similar, this one, but it's just not the same as this one. It's not, it's not, it's not so pointed. But hey, there we go. Right, I, I won't do many. I've got filled up 15 trays. So let's take a look and 15, yeah, 15, tra not trays, or pots. And just see, we're just starting to get there. Second, and there you get second, and there's the root. Beautiful. Now, normally, I have already pre dibbed some holes, but I'm, sh I'm slacking. Two, three. How's that? Whoops. I've got a feeling it's not going to work, but there you go. And just a smidgen of the old mycorrhizal fungi, which is a root stimulant for people who have not should not seen it before. A bit expensive if you want some, but don't, to me, it really helps. I think I noticed a big difference on the chilies. Right, so that's one. Put them down here out the way. Gentle tease. There we go. I did snap a bit, but. That won't hurt, still got plenty to go at. Yes, it's nigh on half the way through February now. And at the end of this month, we will actually be thinking of putting the potatoes in. As early as anyway, some people will even start putting the main crop in. So, 
I say, for some reason, I do enjoy chitting the potatoes. You know, especially one being in the office windowsill. Go in there, I don't know how many times a day. And I always have a look and think, yep, yeah, nearly there. I'll be planting out soon. But I've got to get prepared. That's the, that's the thing. I haven't been down with allotment for, I don't know now, nigh on two weeks. Must get down there to start cleaning the greenhouses. Because soon we'll be wanting to put the peppers and everything in. I know it sounds crazy when I say soon, but in May, and if it's not cleaned out and ready, pointless putting them in. Right, I'll just put you on pause until I've done the rest on them, guy folks. So catch you in a bit. Right, that's those done, folks. One tray done, fifteen in. I think you can might see them better. I don't know. So these won't go back under heat. They'll go on just under lights. I and mean, what I've got here is a one litre jug of a weakish mixture of maxi crop. So I'm going to tip that in and it is a gravel tray so I'm not going to be losing it out the bottom. Stick a litre in and that will do them now just to give them a boost. Let that soak in. Uh, still got a few left, but not as many as I was hoping. So I think once these are potted on, I'll sow some more in one of my smaller trays. Because, like I say, room. So I'll have to, I've got other ways, I suppose. Yeah, I've got other ways which I'll show you later if needed. Right, I'll see you in a bit, folks. Right, so here we are again, folks. So, they've been watered. I've put them under, I'll show you another day where they are. But what I thought I would do, I'll show you some of my chilli plants. The first one is a padron. There we go. Now, can you see, let me see, all of those side shoots. That is a beautiful, whoops, sorry. That's a beautiful plant. I will be thinking of cutting the top out of there soon. Looks like, yeah, I've got lots of side shoots coming out there. Beautiful. And then the next one. I'll never say this word right, so please somebody will. Oh, no, it's not that one. I changed my mind. I was going to bring up a... I'll just have a look. All right, it's the next one. Keep you guessing now. This is the Onivec. Now, again... Lots of side shoots coming up. Lovely, healthy plant. Now I'm sure if I turn this over, no, the roots are not coming out just yet, so I'm okay for now. Because I do think I will have to plant, pot these on before I actually put them in the greenhouse. Then last but not least is the jalapeno or as I call it a jalapeno so again lots of side shoots and I do believe oops, I'll turn it this way don't know here just here I do believe it's going to try and put fruit out if you can just see there if that's fruiting, that will be snicked off. And I 
do believe there's another one. Whoops. At the top. So they will need to be cut off, else all the energy will go there and instead of the plant. So there we go. So there's those. As I was saying, this is what you get if you grow under light and heat. If you, people who don't, I'm sure they will find a big, well, oh, sorry about that folks, they'll find a big difference in their health of their, especially on chilies and tomatoes. I say chilies, as we all know, if you're not careful, if you plant them too late or sow them too late and they don't have a full season, September, October time, when we start getting those first frosts and such like, your plant is still got 25% of fruit on, but it's not ripe. You can cut it off and use them, but they're not the same. But if you use the lot, you know, how I do and a lot of others do, under lights, start them off nice and bright, go in the greenhouse, and hopefully you get a full, complete harvest. Right then, folks, that's going to do me for this one. Don't know what I'll do next. I really don't. We'll see. I'm sure we'll find something. Right, so, thanks for watching. If you enjoy, a thumbs up, please. Leave me a comment. And until the next one, take care and be safe. Cheers now. Bye.